All right, good morning, guys, and welcome to a new pre market analysis. I'm a bit late today. Actually, woke up later as well. Felt like it, felt like I needed some sleep. Why? Because I uh, went to bed late and I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. So it's all right. As long as you just don't give yourself the room to like properly sleep over, so to say. I don't know how to sing, say it in English, but just like give yourself an extra 30 minutes, one hour. If you know that, that will increase your performance throughout the day. I feel like then it's all right to do that, um, especially when I go to bed late. So yeah, let let's let's dive into EU. It's seven eighteen here right now. I literally gave myself extra four to five minutes of sleep. It's all right because I wake up always two hours before I start the actual work. Um. And that's just for my morning routine and I can still fit my morning routine in one hour. I just like to take my time. But yeah, so already starting off quite good where we take out the previous daily lows of Friday. We take our previous daily lows of Monday. We've taken out the previous weekly low. Um, got previous daily high up here now. We reach into this daily. Well, actually, it's more of a four hour looking at how many candles I want to be inside of there. Yeah, it's a nice four-hour supply zone, uh, demand zone that sits below liquidity. We took this liquidity on the left over here as well. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, now we wait and see what price does. Still not any signs of a bullish turnaround. But what we start to do is form a nice kind of bearish structure here. But even that... It's not looking that clean as of yet. If I go to the five minute, there's nothing really I'm interested in as of now. We can remove these. These shorts were quite nice. Over here. But there was no, no area too short from. Nothing that fitted my entry criteria so far so yeah oops now we have asia lows down here we've got asia high still being intact up here um yeah and that's about it for now on those time frames looking at the four hour Yesterday, there was some news. I think today there's a lot of news. Yeah, so we got GBP news coming out in, what is it? 80 minutes? Well, 80, ref. <laughs> what? 60 minutes? Jeez. So that's 7 a.m. Um, UK time, 8 a.m. my time. You've got that coming out. Then... You've got a lot of cat news not interested in at the moment. And then towards the end of the day, it's going to be very interesting in the evening. With Bank of England speaking, Barkin speaking, Powell speaking. I don't know who Barkin is. I know who Powell is. <laughs> so let's see what happens there. Um, we, might, we might get a uh, move there. So yeah. Um, but so far so good. We took previous daily lows, and we actually daily wise was a slow candle, but it's, we just took it. So got the entire day. Low was from towards the end of the day. So yeah, happens quite a lot lately where the low gets from towards the end of the day. As well as the high, because price is just moving in a direction. Um, but as of now, I'm not interested in any longs. There's no structure to work with uh, right now. It's not looking clean to me. We are below previous daily lows Um, on the one hour. High, low, lower, high. I don't know. This doesn't hit lower, low. So low. 
high, high, low, a lower high, a lower low, high, low. There's no internal breaks here, nothing to work with. So we t we wait for Asia lows to be taken. Pretty much the same thing as yesterday. Um, price maybe trickles up, gives us a nice seller move or inducement, trickles down, break, inducement, or bullish break, and then move to the upside. And then this is the break we made. So, yeah. Um, anything else to cover? Not really. We just continue on with the few of yesterday. We've got this daily slash four hour um, demand zone from where we can look for longs. Okay, mark this out as well that we took previously. We also, liquidity is taken. Now we wait for a move. Price to give us at least something we can work with, and as of now, I don't see anything I can work with, so I just wait. Then, GU, mm -mm -mm -mm. GU, still that same idea with that range, though. And as we get lower, that range gets expanded, so that's all right as well. Now, GU, we have a low or high. Ooh, missed that as well. That's unfortunate. So GU took previous daily lows, previous weekly lows as well. Uh, let me mark on that daily. It's an internal one, but doesn't matter. It was an inside bar candle, but can still use it for this markup. So both liquidity points are taken. On EU as well, uh, we are inside a bullish demand block area. We took those lows, and for now, this is where we just wait really to get something we can work with. Because right now, I don't see anything I can work with on GU either. We still have Asia lows below. Um, the only reason I wouldn't take Asia lows is if we start to form or wouldn't mind taking a trade before taking Asia lows is if we start to form a bullish structure. So if on the 15, let's say we now start to form a bullish structure, then I would be interested from here to look for longs. Not from this one, because this is the first break. That could be just a simple inducement to continue lower. But this indicates to me, okay, price is willing to turn around. And then I would look for a potential long from somewhere here. Since structure is on my side, of course. Um, Yeah. So GU, pretty much the same as on EU. Uh, but now that we broke below these levels, um, let's, by the way, let's remove that. Same as the EU, it's messy, it's not needed. If you see it, you don't need it. And I was curious about the XY, so we reach back higher. I'm very curious about that area, and I'm very curious about this one. So we've got one, two, three potential areas from where we get a reaction, from where we can get a reaction, and just like that, we can get a reaction from there. Price can just ignore these areas and burst, burst, burst straight through them. Burst straight through them. I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just see what happens and uh, go from there. But for now, we just wait, really. Just wait on EU and GU. Not much I can cover. Uh, so, yeah. All right, you guys. This was it. Short one. Catch you guys in the market. Wish you guys good luck. And uh, peace out. Catch you tomorrow morning. Yeah, probably.